Hi Gemini and welcome to your love story tarot reading. This is for October 2019. I'm going to start the reading off by pulling a card for your overall energy Gemini and the energy of the other person coming through in this love story. I will go with one storyline so it will resonate and fit or it won't. Also Gemini, I'm just going to refer to this person and that person in the reading and you decide which one is speaking to your personality and then obviously the other side would be your or partner, person you're interested in, etc. Um, you know, because usually I'll say Gemini this side or feminine, masculine, and people just don't like that. So I will try it this way and see if that helps. All right, Gemini, let's see. All right, so we have spiritual awakening journey taking place over here. And on the other side, whoa, mutual spiritual awakening. Gemini, look at that. You know what? I just have to say, I've been working with this deck since February, all right? And, um, you know, I pull a lot of cards from it or little cards from it and never, ever, ever, ever have these two come out together, not one single time before. And now here it is. I only pulled two and it's a spiritual awakening journey and then mutual spiritual awakening journey. So Gemini, October uh, is all about you and a soul connection to your partner, to your love, um, whether this is somebody you're already with or you're about to meet this person. All right. It's about love and healing and awakening and spiritual intimacy with each other, a, a connection that's really hard to express in words. All right. Um, I feel like one of you was uh, began the process of like this awakening, consciousness expansion about the love and connection that's shared here. And now the other one is also finally awakening uh, to that same information and understanding this one did to begin with. But wow, Gemini, your energies cannot be better paired, more aligned. I'm not surprised to see this since the sun is in Libra, the seventh house, house of relationships for most of October. And Mars and Venus are, you know, together in that seventh house of Libra, the house of relationships for four days, the fourth through the eighth. So Gemini, I see it right here. Uh, this is love, like down to the core, at the soul. Like that's where you're experiencing each other and communicating with each other um, very, very deep. So let's pull some more cards, Gemini. So we have supportive, mysterious, and in between, blame. Okay, yeah. Gemini, you guys are uh, going to work through some things and definitely overcome some things in the month of October because with the uh, spiritual awakening journey taking place within both of you and then blame sitting here, um, you know, where you guys have been at an impasse, unable to understand, unable to overcome, I really feel like all the astrology that's taking place and happening right now uh, yeah, it's affecting Gemini's big time and it's no longer about the blame game between you and your partner. Like you guys are seeing each other and coming at each other from a spiritual perspective, which I feel is kind of some new territory for you guys. Very supportive energy and the mysterious to me that's talking about like the life mysteries um, could be occultism, spiritualism you know, um, developing yourself, uh, developing your, you know, psychic ability, just whatever it is. I feel that's what that mysterious is talking about more than anything else. It's like you guys are journeying down the rabbit hole together. You guys are spiritually awakening together, all right? And it is is happening. Gemini, this is really beautiful coming out. And you guys are no longer going to blame each other. Like, it's both of you taking full accountability and responsibility for self and for actions. And it's on a different level. Like, it's a very high consciousness. You guys are viewing each other through and working um, with each other through. So, 
let's pull some um, more cards for this side of the reading and gain more insight about this person. All right, so um, we have, te um, yeah, te uh, sorry, temperance. It's not written on here, and um, this one always tricks me. We've got temperance, Gemini, all right? Balance, restoration, tempering of heart and mind to connect at a spiritual level, no longer blaming each other. Next out is the Ten of Swords. Yeah, look at that. Tens are always about completion. However, the Ten of Swords, thats we've learned a lot of painful lessons along the journey. And now we have the Six of Swords, okay? So, Gemini, this is the heart, the mind, the soul. So, in the heart space is very the tempering of those energies, um, being very fair, being very balanced, looking at everything through a higher consciousness, through a spiritual perception. In the mind, um, yeah, there's been a lot of worry, a lot of heartache, a lot of um, maybe this is the side that is really blameful, has been really resentful. Just with that Ten of Swords, they're overcoming quite a bit of, you know, emotional or mental trauma that they have encountered through this relationship or, you know, through relationships prior to this one. And now at the soul, we have this Six of Swords, which is being at ease, moving into calmer waters. So this person is softening and really opening up and has tempered their heart and their mind in an effort to connect and understand this person. So let's dig more into their energy, Gemini. Look at this. We've got the King of Cups. Um, so this could be a water sign. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Next out is, oh wow, you, they've got the Ten of Wands exactly where you've got the Ten of, well, I shouldn't say you. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. That's mirroring of energies. Oh yay, and now look at Ace of Wands. I love it. Gemini, this is good. Um, so what this is telling you is in the in the um, heart space of both of you, it's like I want to do what it takes. I want to temper myself. I want to temper this relationship. I want to balance things out to make this work. I don't want to blame. I, I want us to connect heart and soul. Okay. Over on this side is feeling the same thing. Like, yes, I want a new beginning. I want to make this work. I want to do whatever it takes because this has been a long haul. The fact that you both have a 10 and these are the heavy 10s, the 10 of swords, the 10 of wands, a lot of burden um, on this person. And it could be like their emotion within there. You haven't been great of like, like expressing their true self, their true emotion, things along that line. However, you both um, ha are completing a cycle in some sort of like soul lesson, life lesson, a, a big time cycle completing with both of you coming through as those tens. And that's why um, we're now awakening to the spiritual journey that you two are going to share with each other moving forward. I mean, two tens and that, like, this is mirroring of energies so nicely. And then here at the soul, king of cups, like, that's the ultimate, uh, you know, card to describe somebody who is very in tune, very sensitive, very wise, very in love, like just I want to do whatever it takes. And over here, again, those energies really mellowing out, getting quite tempered and moving into just a nice flow um, without like a bunch of disturbance, arguments, fights. It's like we're getting along beautifully in the month of October. October is the 10th month and you guys got two tens with the like ace there, a new beginning coming through on top of it, Gemini. So um, Aries and Taurus also kind of had a similar reading, not as nearly significant uh, with the spiritual awakening and stuff. But, you know, just due to the astrology right now, 
I really do feel that relationships in October <clears throat> are going to improve. Um, both people are just going to like decide, yeah, let's make this work. Or, you know, there may be some sudden breakups. And for you guys, Gemini, what I see is let's do whatever it takes to make this work. Queen of Swords. Um, this is somebody who is like, I will cut you off. I will break up with you despite how much it will kill me and break my own heart if you don't get it together and you don't do it right. This is air energy, so this could be your energy, Gemini. Next out is the Three of Swords. Yeah, it's like I'm not going to tolerate um, lies and deception and having my heart broke and all of these things. Like, I'm not going to accept that anymore. But I will own myself and my own behavior because this side is spiritually awakening equal um, to this side spiritually awakening. And now look at, we got the Ten of Wands again. So you, these tens, man. Um, and this card is all about getting it on very, very uh, passionately, okay? Under this blame, wow, another ten. Ten of Pentacles, yeah, game over. Like, you guys are going to a different level. Taking responsibility, accountability for self, for emotions, for actions, really getting focused on the spiritual connection that exists between the two of you more than anything else, all right? At least in the month of October. And now um, we have the Emperor coming out under this King of Cups. This could indicate an Aries, but overall, very strong masculine energy. That's equal parts emotion um, to physical attraction as well as the spiritual intimacy that you guys are now um, discovering within each other. Next out is the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> and um, over here, it, so I feel like the feminine energy in this reading, um, whether you're male or female, you know, I just feel there's always more of a submissive and dominant type of energies, feminine, masculine type of energies um, between two people in any partnership. And this right here is looking at this feminine Feminine as a very strong-willed feminine, okay? Like, she will not tolerate nothing anymore. And lastly, uh, the Knave of Pentacles. And as you can see, you know, they're having a really good time there. So, oh, Gemini, um, it, this there's definitely passionate uh, relations going on between both parties involved in this relationship, this connection. But it does look like there is some challenges from the past that you guys will need to overcome, you know. But, that, you know, sometimes the hardest things that we experience in our romantic relationships are the very things that actually make you grow closer after you work through them and overcome them, okay? And with uh, four tens showing up in your reading, um, the only thing we don't have here is the ten of cups, but with four tens showing up like that, Gemini, yeah, you guys have completed more than one cycle. I feel like cycles within your personal life as well as the cycle within this connection itself. And now you're going to this next level, the Ace of Wands, Wands is Fire, Spirit, the Ether, the Ether of Life, okay? And now that's where this focus is for this connection, this relationship is at a soul level, soul intimacy. And that may be quite different than what you guys have experienced with each other prior, okay? So, Gemini, powerful reading. Um, I, you know, we don't have any, like, twin flame soulmate uh, popping out in any of the cards, but um, I don't think that matters, Gemini. I think you and this person are highly compatible. You guys have a lot more uh, to experience with each other and overcoming some major things through the completing of these cycles and this spiritual intimacy that you guys are evolving into is just out of this world. Alright, so we have the mixed signals and positive shift. There you go. So, um, It's the alignment of two energies equally because you guys have uh, done your work. It's almost like uh, graduating from high school and going off to college. Honestly, that's like the elevation to this relationship, this connection, and the 
intimacy is going to penetrate beyond the physical, beyond the flesh, beyond the emotion, and it's going to be felt much more from the spirit, from the core um, in each of you because now moving forward you're meant to have more spiritual awareness of like the divinity of life the magic of life as well as the divinity of yourself and you guys may also be spiritually gifted and waking up to these gifts and have a spiritual mission um, to complete together this lifetime all right so those are your messages gemini i'm wishing you all the best take care